what do we have here? Yes, indeed. It's the MSI GE76 Raider, baby. And this thing, wow. I can tell you now, it's my first 3060. It's a 130 watt 3060 and it flies. It really hammers. There are some really cool things about this laptop. We'll get into it in a sec. But I do have to say that this is an engineering sample, so I can't share anything in terms of you know performance and data with this, but I can tell you now, friggin' flies, the thermals are all okay. I'll talk about that in a sec. But I do have the GE66, and that thing, oh my God, 130 watt RTX 3070 and I've been playing with that a lot and that thing is not an engineering sample I can actually talk about performance of that but this one I actually can't but I still think you'll get something out of this video so this is a 17 inch beast of a laptop you can get up to an RTX 3080, 3070 or 3060 so yeah this one has the 3060 it is not as fast as say a 95 watt 3070 but it is faster than a 2070 sort of 95 watt so it flies it really does this is a 4k display 100 adobe rgb it's a really good display the reflections of course it's matte so it's good in that regard good for content creation this would be a content creation beast because it actually does have a 99 watt hour battery now of course it does come with the intel cpu the intel 10th generation ignore that telemetry up the top that's not from this laptop this is just my recorded gameplay just you know so you can see something while i'm talking to you but in terms of Intel versus AMD, it looks like Intel sort of have the advantage with sort of gaming still. You've got that resizable bar so it can share the GPU memory. I haven't tested a Ryzen laptop, the new 5000 series, but I've looked at Jared Tech's and other people's sort of reviews of, you know, AMD and Intel systems. And it's going to be neck and neck. Sometimes the Intel is going to be fast. I think it's going to be a very fluid situation. So I think a lot of the time this will still be faster having an Intel set up so you know for the meantime i would say intel is still probably the way to go for gaming if you're talking about exclusively for gaming this thing comes with a cool steel series powered rgb keyboard and yes you use steel series software to control all this so it looks cool i love this, this sort of like zone lighting up here this strip it looks cool i will say under these bright lights it's not the you know the brightest rgb but in a normal room scenario it's going to be perfectly bright enough you can actually get up to a 300 hertz display as well if you're a gamer so you know this is a 4k display it's good for you know playing games like flight simulator or cyberpunk or something like that not the best for fps but yeah 17 inch display it looks gorgeous it is amazing this display i would however say that if you're going to get this and you're going to be playing at 4k do get the 3070 or 3080 now i've listened to the sound on this it sounds good when it comes to thermals i will say with intel now it's not so much of a thing right because dynamic boost we're not getting those crazy sort of four gigahertz sort of speeds that your cpu tries to ramp up to and then it like thermal throttle and stuff like that that's not going to happen that much anymore there are some games like you know battlefield where it still uses a lot of the cpu but generally you're going to be using more of the gpu and in terms of just you know slamming the cpu only yes it's pretty much the same as last generation you know intel if you're trying to slam you know all those cores over four gigahertz it's going to get hot it's going to suck 90 100 watts and yeah it gets hot that's what happens but for gaming the thermals aren't that much of an issue anymore so because it's you know putting the juice to the gpu so this is really good and actually it's in silent mode now and silent mode is really good so i'll quickly just tell you about the ports one thing i like about this is that it does have ports at the back now and at the back it does have display port 1.4 type c 3.2 that's with display port 1.4 and it's two watts then you have hdmi the ethernet on the left hand side you have usb type a 3.2 gen 2 type c 3.2 gen 2 and audio combination jack and on the right hand side we do have sd card and two type a so yeah this thing is really good i really like it even though it's an engineering sample i can tell you now if you get this laptop you're going to be very happy with it it's got great performance and yeah i'd love to see like a full retail unit when it comes out stay tuned for my ge66 review because i can tell you performance with that that thing's amazing and yeah i've been hooking it up to it like a tv and yeah wow love it so anyway catch you in the next one guys tally ho